Hello. Today I am going to talk about change and some tips on how to embrace it. So this has been my entire year. It has been change brought on on so many different levels. And I'm just going to go list some of them so that you could get a feel of it. And, uh, and then again, I'm going to share on the way I've discovered to embrace it. So it started with my vision quest in January in Colombia. I had already done this is my fourth vision quest. The first one was four nights. The second one was seven nights. The third one was the nine nights. This is my two weeks on the mountain. Very little food, very little water, no shelter, sleeping on the ground. Uh, that brought in change every day, weather changes, hunger, discomfort, mental, the ego chatting away. So change there. Then I came back and I became a boss for the first time. That's a whole new ball game, right? Learning to work with a virtual assistant who's in the Philippines. And then I got marketing help and web help all over in the Philippines. So I'm working with time change. My mornings are very busy instead of being sort of more, but more relaxed. I'm very, very busy in the morning, starting at about 6 a.m because of the time change. They're 14 hours ahead, working with a different culture, working virtually rather than in person, right? Um, then I was guided to create my own Oracle cards. So I did that, uh, digital ones. They're on my website, if you are interested. They're um, support for highly sensitive people and empaths, which are generally my clientele. So that was a whole process, making those in a, in a digital format. Uh, on my vision quest, I was guided to start learning to sing in English for my cacao ceremonies, because I've been singing in Spanish up until then. That was a whole new one, learning that. Um, if I do that now, then my both my computers blew up. They were 10 years old new computers, so new technology, everything was, you know, up, up to date, uh, different, different, uh, operating systems had to learn that, uh, my phone also died in there. Uh, so that was a new phone updating there. Then I was guided to start doing these Facebook lives, get in front of the computer, in front of the computer on my, uh, on these Facebook lives and another one like, okay, let's just do this. So here I am doing them three times a week. Uh, later, earlier this week, I did my first setting up of the microphone and the whole system that involves the microphone for my live streaming of our cacao ceremony next weekend. So if you're interested, put the word cacao in, you can join us from anywhere you are. It is private. Let me just put out there. Some people think it's going to be public. No, these are private. You must register and only those people registered can join in. Just want to add that in there. Um, I've been guided to create my first um, international retreat. So that's all new. Jumping right in there and doing that. Um, and then today I made <laughs> like, I just have to laugh at all these things I'm being asked to do. I made my first promotional video for my upcoming Bali retreat. Self love explosion, right? I've never made a video and here I was doing it today. So I just want to say when this all started happening, I was in overwhelm. I was anxious. I wasn't sleeping. I just, everything kept coming at me like new, new, change, change. Everything was changing and I was driving my crazy myself crazy and it was not sustainable and so I started just like going with the flow like oh okay I have to make a video a promotional video I have to get in front of the camera again okay I'm gonna learn how to do this and I my advice is the more we embrace it the easier it gets right we're being, we are here on this earth to grow and learn. And so when change comes in, it's usually to bring in those, a new way of doing things, learning a new way of doing things. So take my advice. Don't go, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get anxious. 
just as the change comes in, embrace it, embrace it and say, okay, I'm going to feel this fear. I uh, might feel this resistance towards, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to jump in feet first and just do it. I'm going to, and I'm, I'm always asking my spirit team to help me. The other day when I was doing the microphone, I asked my technology angels, again, I have fun with it. I say, please help me make this all work. Today I had my gorgeous cacao before going to do my uh, video, right? This, it's, uh, we're going to be doing, it's uh, all about, um, it's a cacao ceremony, Bonanza Bali self-love retreat, right? So I had the, my cacao this morning and just talked to the cacao spirit and said, please commune with me. Please let me be my best version of myself and, um, and, and share what this retreat is going to be about. So it's not about doing it alone, getting the support that you need. So if you need a little bit more of that support and guidance and maybe help letting go of the resistance, join us for our cacao ceremony next weekend. It's next Sunday here in Boulder um, in the cacao medicine and the group healing can really help you with change if you are in it like me. So on that note, I wish you a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you soon.